morning, church family! My name is Beth Jones, and I am excited to study God's Word with you today. Please take a moment to pause this video and pray together as a family. Last week, we learned about Jesus feeding the 5,000. A very large crowd was following Jesus, watching for Him to heal more sick people. Jesus asked His disciples, where they could buy enough bread to feed everyone. But not even half a year's wages would have been enough to give everyone a few bites. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, found a young boy who had five loaves of bread and two fish. He brought this boy to Jesus, but still doubted that Jesus could do anything with the small amounts of food. Jesus then had everyone sit down, and he gave every person as much food as they wanted. When everyone was full, Jesus had his disciples gather the leftovers. It was enough to fill 12 whole baskets with pieces of leftover bread. The people were so excited by, the, by this miracle that they wanted to make Jesus king. But instead, Jesus went into the mountains by himself. This week, we are exploring Lesson 13, Jesus Walks on Water, and our focus passage is Matthew 14, 23-33. Today's central truth is, Jesus is God present with us. Immediately, He, that's Jesus, made the disciples get into the boat and go before Him to the other side, while He dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately, Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. For our lesson today, we will focus on four key parts of our passage. Jesus sought the presence of his Father, Verses 22 through 23. Jesus came to be present with his disciples. Verses 24 through 27. Jesus invited Peter into his presence. Verses 28 through 31. And Jesus' presence is the presence of God. Verses 32 through 33. How does Jesus show that He is God? If you've been following along with our videos the last couple weeks, you might already know the answer to this question. Jesus shows that He is God when He does something that only God can do. Only God can control the weather. Only God can create more food from nothing. This week, we see Jesus do something that should be impossible. We can't walk on water. It isn't possible. But Jesus shows that He is God when He does something impossible, like, wa like walking across stormy waves. How is Jesus present with the disciples? At the beginning of the story, it would be easy to think that Jesus had abandoned His disciples. They were sent off without Jesus to spend the night trying to row their boat across a stormy lake, with the wind pushing them back the way they came. 
That doesn't sound like fun, and the disciples probably wished that Jesus was with them how he was the last time they faced a storm on the sea. But Jesus had a reason for sending them off. Romans 5, 3-5 says, Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Jesus allowed the disciples to go through a hard time so that they would hope in Him. Then, He walked up to the boat to rescue the disciples and remind them that He is God. How did Peter show his faith in Jesus? Peter showed his faith in Jesus by stepping out of the boat. That sounds simple, but put yourself in his shoes. The waves and wind were so bad that they were not able to make it across the sea. It was scary enough being inside the boat. But Peter recognized that Jesus is God. Peter trusted that Jesus' presence was enough to keep him safe. By stepping out into the waves, Peter showed that he had more faith in Jesus than he did in the boat. How is Jesus, God, present with us? Put simply, Jesus is God and Jesus is present with us, so Jesus is God present with us. Throughout the Old Testament, God was present with Israel in the tabernacle and then in the temple. God was present on earth in the life of Jesus. God is present today in the presence of the Holy Spirit living in the hearts of believers. One day, God will be present as Jesus reigns as King over all creation. Even when it seems that God is far away, Jesus is always interceding for those who believe in Him. That means that Jesus is talking to God on our behalf. Jesus is God with us, and He is worthy of all of our faith, love, and worship. After feeding the 5,000, Jesus sent His disciples across the sea and dismissed the crowd. Then He spent almost all night in prayer while His disciples struggled through a storm. After many hours, Jesus walked to the disciples on the water, encouraging them with His presence. He let Peter come to Him, and He saved him when he started to sink. Then, when Jesus got into the boat, the storm immediately stopped and the disciples worshipped Him as the Son of God. Jesus' prayer shows that He found protection and pleasure in the presence of God the Father. And by walking on the water, Jesus showed the disciples that they could find the same protection and pleasure in His presence. Jesus came to earth so that we can once again be with God. Through His sinless life and perfect sacrifice, we can be restored to God, where we can go on living in His presence as we trust, love, and worship Jesus. How do you show your faith in Jesus?